Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA has brought back a FIFA legend of old with Serie A team of the season today. We have to talk about not one, not two, but three really good SBCs that were dropped yesterday on this game that really are carrying Serie A team of the season right now. Now, also with this squad, I want to look at the players because there's some really cracked players that we didn't expect big upgrades for, and there's also some really, really cheap cards that look insanely good for the price. Some budget beasts is what this Serie A Tots team is bringing out. So I want to take a look at that. And the market is really not doing so hot once again because of this content, guys. And we need to talk about that a bit and what might be happening today as a part of Serie A Tots. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, let's go into the SBC section and start off where it was hot yesterday because this is where all the action was going down. First off, we'll start with the upgrade SBCs, which actually, guys, the upgrade SBC that they dropped yesterday, the 78 plus Syria and NWSL double upgrade pack. I'm actually a fan of this one. This is one of the first 78 double packs that I've actually done a decent amount of because it only requires six players, six golds, three of them common, three of them rare. And for somebody like myself who's been doing a lot of those crafting upgrades and I still have a lot of gold rares in the club, this has been kind of a nice and refreshing grind to put these into. Now, is it more worth it than the 81 plus player pick? I don't know. You're turning in still six golds and you're turning in a lot of rares, but I think more of us have rares if you're still doing the crafting upgrade. I have not packed any team of the seasons out of this yet. I've only done like 10 to 15 of them. I do know others that have. So I think this is actually a decent grind. Until we get the premiums on Sunday, this is not a bad place to be putting cards. And maybe once the premiums come out, this could be still a good place to be continuing that, that upgrade craft and that grind alongside of the player pick. So I wanted to mention that because that is there and it's actually worth doing. It's not two squads this week. It's only one squad and six players. We also have a draft token upgrade, which we can do once per day. And you're like, why do I care about draft tokens? Well, there is an objective that is tied to this guy. This is an 82 rated squad. So if you're playing draft, if you're trying to get these objectives for packs done and dusted, um, that's how you can get some more draft tokens to not have to pay 15,000 coins for draft. I think draft actually might be one of the game modes that is the most kind of like ignored and it's fallen behind like all the other game modes in terms of rewards the rewards are absolutely terrible but when you have an objective like this that actually allows you to get some halfway decent packs uh you can play draft and actually toy around a little bit because you get these good packs right 84 4 83 10 a couple of tots guaranteed packs in here um and you do want to do online draft most likely unless you unless you don't want to venture into online at all you can get most of this objective done by playing offline but winning 10 and playing 10 does get you some some nice packs and again that's something that's like above and beyond i think the main gameplay grind right now is still champs and then rivals that would be the main focus but if you want to go out and do some of that and try out draft like guys i've barely played any draft this year like it's even you can see here on the menus like it's so far back in the back like it's asking me if i want to use a draft token i, I don't because i don't want to start a draft but it's like EA is kind of pushing us towards draft a little bit right now. And it hasn't been like that that many times. But at least right now it is with those extra packs there. So that's kind of up to you if you want to grind that or not. Um, for me right now, seriously, in the weekend, it'll be weekend league focus. Maybe we'll dip in a draft a little bit when that is out for a little uh, extra time. But probably not going to prioritize that that much. Now, I'll stop yapping about upgrades. Let's go to the player SBCs because this is where it was popping off yesterday, guys. First of all, Trinity Rodman, the NWSL tie-in, right? We always have a men's, we always have a women's SBC in these Tots Fridays. And this Rodman card, that's a big name player from the NWSL. Five star, four star for this item. High, high work rates. Finesse, quick step, quick step plus, by the way, with 99 pace, 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, and quick step plus. Talk about a rapid player off of the first bounce, right? She's going to be so fast. She also has Trickster Plus as well uh, with the five-star skills. Uh, I don't know, man. The only memories I have of Trinity Rodman in this year's game is when I packed the Future Star first owner. I was so excited, and then I was underwhelmed by how she performed in-game. 
Hopefully this one is better. I will probably end up doing the SBC just for the USA squad. She's actually like the worst player SBC that was dropped yesterday, to be completely honest. She's coming in at 477,000 coins. And that's it's still a good SBC. I just don't think it appeals to a ton of people. And it doesn't stand out as a great SBC, especially with the other two that we had yesterday. So I don't want to gloss over that because the Robins SBC is not bad. I just think there's a couple SBCs that are better and i think you guys know the better sbcs this is in my opinion oof this is close between between number one and two of who of the was the best sbc yesterday on team of the season friday lookman from the road from the final not road to the final this card this is the the bands right this card is a road to the final card for the europa league right they already won the final like he already you know what i mean like this is not this is he reached the final it's not the road to the final they won anyways just kind of funny because it's a road to the final car design but lookman basically got a man of the match for the europa league final five star five star power shot technical and first touch plus really really great stats the best part about this card though is the dynamic image of him holding the trophy with the medal in his mouth cheesing because he himself literally broke the leverkusen 51 game unbeaten streak and this sbc is only three squads it's only 137,000 coins it is a massive dub sure some of his stats are a little bit lackluster but for 130k with 5-5 five, five and those good of stats and also with the hype of the game that was just played he's got to be really good in game as well five foot nine mostly explosive with those stats pretty meta play style pluses and some decent play styles like incisive and regular rapid to go along with the card it's it's a fun it's just a fun sbc man honestly um you know kind of comparable to the Korea card from a couple days ago but i don't know maybe even better who knows i think it's a w that was one of the most exciting sbcs that we got yesterday just because it's cool i think it's just like the the dope factor the fact that they got a dynamic image and a picture out like that so fast it relates to a game that just happened ea keep this sort of thing going this summer for the euros and for copa america we want man of the matches not even every day but like every couple of days you know that sort of thing to kind of give us something we after we watch the game use something in this game to connect right that connection not just a live card that upgrades but a man of the match sort of thing this is a w and i hope we see it a lot more this summer during the big competitions that are going to be happening so lookman is insane he's awesome and now the other sbc is one that i've already completed of course he's boom straight to the team renato sanchez that is the big name sbc that was dropped yesterday guys flashback sanchez i look at my midfield right now i put these two guys in the, in the team it feels like fifa 21 or fifa 22 back with sissoko and Renato Sanchez in the midfield. This guy's become an absolute FIFA legend over the past couple of years with very overpowered cards on this game, all the way from his gold card to like footies cards. And last year we had, what was it, like the level up promo with the 93 and the 94 rated version of him. Here we are with a 94 rated 4-4 Renato Sanchez with almost all nine golden gang as they call it 90 plus in almost every stat category 88 defending is where he's just shy of that some people look at this card and they say nate he's only 4-4 it's an l he's a center mid center defensive mid it's gonna be fine you know he's can play center mid or right mid i think you play him as a box to box in game with those high high work rates i've got a shadow chemistry style on him which i think he is perfectly uh suited for look at those dribbling stats man great shooting stats as well 99 shot power 97 aggression 96 strength if you've never used a renato sanchez card do yourself a favor and get this sbc done he is one of those cards that is just insane in game because of aura we've been talking a lot about aura lately right it's just like how he plays in game his animations his body type what it is it just like it's above and beyond other players maybe that would have the same stats he just feels different in game maybe it's the hair trade as well right with the dreads and stuff like that i don't know Renato Sanchez has always just been an OP player in this game. He doesn't even have Anticipate, which is like, at this stage of the game, you gotta have it. But he's probably just so overpowered enough, he doesn't even need it. Technical is nice. Quick Step and Rapid is nice. Long Ball Pass is cool, too. He's just gonna play really, really great in the game without even using the card yet, I just know. And it's just one of those guys that's kind of like a non-negotiable. You get the SBC done because it's Renato Sanchez and because you know how good he is in game and he's only 400,000 coins like sure it's five squads and there's a 90 rated squad in there but fodder is so in the mud that it doesn't even matter like he is cheap and he is good value and of course 
Look at the state of midfielders on this game, guys. They are absolutely getting destroyed. This Kamavinga card was 400k yesterday. Yes, 400,000 coins he was. And now he's 300k. Down horrendous. Um, other midfielders like Goretzka was 1.1 million. Now down to 900,000 coins. And one of my personal favorites to point out, Kefrem Taram. This guy right two weekends ago, 1.1 million during League One Tots. Went to 700k last week because of Kamavinga and everything else that was dropped for La Liga. And now he's 500k. He was down actually below 500k at 490. And now he's back up just a little bit. But center midfielders across the whole entire game are absolutely getting dumped down in price because people are going and doing that SBC. And there's some pretty cracked SBCs that came in, or pretty cracked center mids that came into packs yesterday as well. And a lot of these Serie A tots are cheap, which we'll talk about in a second. So midfielders, I'd be very, very careful with. Yesterday, one of the places that I was not wanting to trade with at all was midfielders. I stayed almost completely away from them because they were not selling good on the market at all in any way, shape, or form because of that Renato Sanchez SBC and all the hype that that card has. So I would be very, very careful with those cards again today. I'm still completing a flip on this Rafael Leal that I bought for 850. He's up like 200K because his team of the season card is crazy, crazy expensive. But center midfielders are in the mud. I would not mess with them. We'll talk a little bit more about the market because a lot of the rest of the market, I sold Lewandowski for 900 yesterday. He's down even further. I sold Ramos for 1.6 almost. He was just 1.4 something. A lot of the market is dropping. We'll touch on that a little bit more later. Now, just to quickly go over the rest of the content that we had yesterday on Friday. Objectives. We did have a daily play once again and a Xerxes objective. This might be one of the, actually, one of the worst player objectives we had of the year. I mean, I like this card. I had his future stars and it was really, really fun. Medium low work rates 4-4. Four, four. It just doesn't have anything too special about it, but I'm sure he's a beast in the air. 99 strength heading and jumping on a six foot four striker with power shot, power header, and rapid. So um, I'm probably too quick to hate on that card and not being that meta, but I'm sure he's going to be fun, especially for some crosses and that was objectives yesterday again make sure to check out the toss draft mode if you want to play that mode i don't know if i'm gonna get it done but that's just me um and then evolutions guys evolutions man they gotta pick it up they really do we've been saying this for a, a number of days now but it just it continues to be the same thing yesterday's evolution uh was the champion's corner which actually is pretty nice because you can take somebody who is 93 rated sorry that is not the evolution that we had yesterday the Champions Corner 2 is the evolution that we had yesterday, which I've already put somebody into. I completely forgot about that. I put Fakir in the Champions Corner 2 evolution because it was an evolution that allows you to Evo a player that is 94 rated and take them to 95. There's actually people who packed Felix or Aspilicueta, uh, or Aspilicueta obviously from objectives, but some people were making a 95 rated Besek because he fits this Evo. Um, it's crazy, the, the upgrades and the TOTS cards that you can get, which is nice. And it's not that big of an upgrade, so I'm glad that it's a free Evo. But here's my problem with this right now. Half of the evolutions right now that are out aren't even enabling you to craft and create a better player from a lower rated card to a sick player that's like, you're never gonna really find in packs, right? All they're doing is like TOTS upgrade, right? TOTS upgrade, Champion's Corner. Like half of the Evos right now, or more than half, just feel like you're taking a card that you would have had to be lucky enough to pack during team of the season, the first four or five weeks now, and then you put it into an Evo and that card gets just slightly better. It doesn't feel like genuine evolutions like we've had for a while this year. And the league evolutions are just, they're just not good. Like Prem, Bundesliga, League One, probably going to get a Serie A team of the season Evo, right? These ones have just not been that good. The playstyle pluses have just been average. Like the upgrades have been good, but it's such a lower rated player you can put in. So I don't know. Evos continue to kind of stink it up on this game, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at least the SBCs are carrying at this point. Now, Let's talk about the cards and packs, guys. The Serie A team of the season itself. We had the leaks before content yesterday, and man, there are some really juiced cards. Like, this Giroud. This, is this the best Giroud card we've ever seen? Like, 95 pace, 97 shooting on Giroud. This card is going to be absolutely mental in the box. Like, everybody did Sorloth, right? And now it's like, EA, like, hey, uh, here's a card that is going to absolutely own Sorloth in that same department with those stats. 
looks absolutely legendary. Of course, it's 900k and Sorloth was 70k, but Giroud looks cracked, and a lot of this team looks really good. Really good, man. Osaman for 390k with 97 pace and 96 shooting looks awesome. This is where I'm just appalled. How is this Shalhanoglu card 300k? He has Anticipate, Long Ball, and Trivella. He's only 294,000 coins. He has 97 passing and 95 dribbling, and he's almost all 90 gang. High, high work rates. It's got to be the pack weight and the links, guys. These, these cards seem pretty supplied in the market. Like, when I go and look at the number of cards that are actually on the market and I'm checking and clicking through these players, there was a lot. And there was, uh, I know it's a little bit more rare right now since it's late night, early morning when I'm talking about this and we're uploading this, but um, these cards were very supplied in the market yesterday and there was a lot of them, which tells me that the upgrade pack grind might be halfway decent this week um, if that stays true and if that continues. So that's one thing I did want to mention is that um, these cards look to be pretty packable. The top tier looks worth chasing, right? Lautaro, Dybala, you know, they're decent. They're good. La Rafaela looks cracked. Hernandez looks insane. This Bastoni center back card looks freaking nutty. 98 defending, multiple 99 stats on the end games for 1.6 mil with Jockey and Anticipate Plus with how beastly Bastoni is in game already. That card looks crazy to me. Um, but then the lower tier too. This team is also bringing in so many good players from lower budgets that I'm like, this is a cracked card for 40,000 coins. Guys, this Rabio with Anticipate, Aerial, and Press Proven, he's minimum price of 40k. Look at those playstyle pluses. He's always good in game. Look at those stats. For 40k minimum price, that is a wild card. Ben Asser is 23k, and he's always meta as well. And Like, look at that card. That is a really nuts card for 23,000 coins. I feel like this team is very, like like meta looking statistically and some of these players are going to be very very good in game but also they're so cheap and a whole lot of this team is cheap i have to wonder number one yeah the pack weight as we mentioned number two it's probably just because there's not as many people that want to go out and just like try these cards so ea maybe boosted them up a little bit extra uh to try to get us to want to use them like how is this vlahovic card forty-three thousand coins this is, and how is he 91 rated, by the way? This is the one that I'm just scratching my head at, looking at his stats. 91 Vlahovic, who's got 97 shooting, 93 pace, 5-star, 4-star, finesse, Trivella, and Ariel. That is a crazy combination of playstyle pluses for an attacker. Like, I want to pack this Vlahovic card and try him out. 99 heading, uh, jumping, 98 stamina, or 98 strength, sorry. 99 finishing, 98 positioning. What a card. Like, Four of the five scoring play styles. Again, what a card, man. Like, that is insane. For a 40, 50,000 coin card, it's crazy. So there are so many budget beasts in this Serie A team. But at the same time, there's some really insane top-tier meta cards. The Pulisic looks fun. Um, you know, we've, met, we've mentioned all those top-tier cards already. So I think the team is solid. I really do. I think it's a good, juiced team. And I think the lower tier is great, too, for those of you that are on lower budgets and want to try to get some newer and better cards in your team. And I think it is kind of a part of the reason why the market is continuing to drop at this moment. Before we talk about that, let's cover NWSL cards, our women's league this week. You know, they look decent as well. Alex Morgan just went up like 80K right there. You saw that 770 to 850, big rise. Some of them are getting rare in a Saturday morning. Take the flips, take the quick flips if they are rare for sure on these cards. There's a whole bunch of like five-star, five-star players in here. Um, Nicole, I think five 5'4", but Marta, Dabinia are both pretty cracked. Smith is insane. And Alex Morgan looks good as well. But there's not a ton of hype for NWSL in my opinion. There's just a decent amount there. Um, there is a 95 pace center back, Gordon, which is pretty wild. Um, and I packed, let's see, from all the cards that I packed yesterday, it was really just the fodder ones. I didn't open a ton of packs. I did pack uh, Pellegrini. I think it was. Um, yeah, he's like 80k minimum price. I packed Pellegrini and I packed Williams from the NWSL side. So no crazy pack luck for me. I feel like I've used all of my pack luck up during the team of the season. Um, but let, let's actually go back to the market and talk about this because we just saw some cards move. There is demand for these, but yesterday it didn't seem like the demand was super strong. Like there was some there. 
but it didn't go super crazy, right? Like I was able to snipe Giroud, one of the most popular cards in this promo team, sniped him at 1.5, sold him at 1.61, sniped him at 1.2, sold him at 1.31. And, you know, other than that, the trades yesterday, the market didn't move that much. Like pull the six started to go up and then just didn't. I bought him at 6.80, sold him at 7.01, didn't make any coins there. The Ramos and the Renard were like my best flips of the day yesterday, along with the Rafael Leal's that I talked about in last night's video as well. Still looking to sell one of those. But um, guys, it was the center backs that were trading the best yesterday on this game. I think because we had so many insane midfielders like Shalhanoglu, Barella, um, and even Pellegrini for a cheap price. Like again, Rabio, Benacer, all those cheap center midfielders, Ferguson as well, along with the Renato. Like those cards were all just dropping a bunch in price and even attackers because of Lookman, right? A lot of people were putting him as striker or right wing and it made those prices drop. Look at La Liga team of the season right now. Look at some of the prices from one day ago and how much they are down today. Valverde's 1-7. I mean, we looked at Camavinga already. One of the only cards that is up is Cancelo and that's because he's Portuguese and links Renato Sanchez. I sold Lewa at 900,000 coins. He's 800K. Rodrigo's down over 100,000 coins. Of course, Gundogan is down as a midfielder. Um, Griezmann's down three, 400K as well. A lot of prices are dropping. League one tots, I feel like it's even worse. Jonathan David's 400K. That's crazy. He was 700K, 600K a couple days ago. Like this, Lucas Hernandez is down um, everywhere, guys. Everywhere, it seems, prices are dropping. And I just don't know why it's going to stop if you think about it, right? Because I think people are also having fun with the Serie A promo. And while they're doing that, they're also getting in their minds, okay, Ultimate Tots is coming soon as well. So why do I want to hold on to cards at the moment? And at the also the same time as that, I just thought of this, maybe it's not going to impact the market a crazy amount, but there's even maybe a little bit less demand for people to go out and buy cards for teams because we have the draft objective. So once people finish their champs and their rivals, do they need a team to go play draft? No, you just go draft the squad. You get to try out the brand new players. I'm, I'm assuming that EA is going to juice the draft weight with more team of the season cards in it so that you can try out those fun new cards, right? Um, and kind of make me maybe have a little bit more incentive to play draft. So it really does not look good for the market this week during Serie A Tots heading into ultimate team of the season. So be very, very careful when it comes to holding on to cards. Um, and trading with cards this weekend there still will be fluctuations like we just saw a couple of those cards moved as i'm opening these packs right here these 78 doubles just to see if i can hit a blue there's going to be good fluctuations like i think bastoni was 1.6 flat he's probably going to go up to like 1.8 1.9 yeah okay boom he just already went to 1.6 so you're having some of your normal late friday night into the early saturday morning rises trade with that have fun with that get those flips done and dusted but I would not hold on, especially if you pack something from this team, I would sell it just because I don't think it's even going to last with the way this market looks right now. Let's really quickly cover fodder as well, because fodder just been kind of doing the same thing every single week. And if you can time it right, you're making bank. Yesterday, fodder went stupid low once again during the lightning rounds. Guys, look at Allison. He was all the way down at 16. I know that 89s were on bid for 15,000 coins. And now he's back to 18K. It is very, very easy to make coins by bidding on these cards during um, the supply of the store packs, refreshing every single day. Uh, people are still opening those, I guess. I don't know if it's the... I don't know what the chance is that um, you would want to go and open the packs right now, especially with FC points. But, um, you know, these cards are getting supplied every single day because those packs are out in the store and they're going to be supplied again today. But I think that if you want to get in on like an 85 investment or something lower rated, you're probably going to see those cards go up sooner rather than later. Um, and maybe just stock a couple in the club just to see what would happen. But usually we look towards like Sunday for these cards to move a bit more. So maybe a little bit more of an opportunity today to get in on the fodder. Make sure you get on bids though you get lower prices there um and if you're doing exchanges i think still if you get 89s anywhere under like 18,000 coins they're still very very cost effective for buying those to put into the exchange packs um at least for right now in this game yeah guys that's kind of the fodder market i don't think i want to invest in fodder right now a whole lot i know that during ultimate team of the season and after team of the season we'll be looking at investing in team of the season cards stocking those in our clubs and also team of the week cards i think both of those will be investable in but uh at the moment i just don't know how much are team of the week cards they were like 16k uh, i think they're still pretty cheap are they even lower than that let's see 15,000 coins all right informs are not below 16 
16, 17,000 coins. And I think team of the seasons are the same, maybe a little bit more expensive. And then like your cheapest higher rated tots are like 23K for 92s. I don't think I want to invest in those yet because there's still going to be people packing those cards this week with um, Serie A team of the season being out, right? You've got a lot of 90, 91, 92 rated tots cards that are going to end up being dirt cheap and in fodder. Um, so I think we can wait to invest in tots cards till maybe next week for ultimate tots or maybe the week after that. Um, but that's something I want to put on your radar because that's sort of an investment that we can make for the summer that could be a bit of a longer term play they could really turn out well. So just want to put that bug out there, put that bug in your ear, if you will, um, before we get too far into the summer. Now, let's talk about content today on Saturday. Let's wrap it up with today because um, more upgrade SBCs coming today to give us chances at packing these team of the season cards and Serie A team of the season themed SBCs. First of all, the 86 double upgrade goes away. It's Saturday. We're going to get something else to replace this. Can I get the 84 times seven back EA? Like 86 double... It's very hit or miss, more times missed than hit, but bring us back to 84 times seven because that one actually, you could get some really good pulls from. It still gives you a good amount of high rated fodder, but you get seven players instead of two. Um, so watch out for that. If that does come back out and it's maybe gonna be two squads, 85s might move a little bit. I think the last time they brought that out, it was um, an 85 rated requirement in one of the squads. So that's something to watch out for. And then I think today on Saturday as well, we'll get the 83 times seven Syria and NWSL pack, which will be worth doing at the chance, kind of like the 82 times five La Liga at the chance of packing a blue from the currently in packs team of the season cards. That's one thing to watch out for. Also, we do have a couple of leaked SBCs, first of which is Mkhitaryan. And this is his official card according to the leaks. And that card does not look very good. It just looks average. I mean, finesse, incisive, and pinged, those are great playstyle pluses. But the stats on the card comparatively to what is in packs, or even think about the Odegaard SBC that a bunch of people did, or Isco that a bunch of people did, right? Or it got from packs. I don't think this card is near as good as some of those that have already been released. Sure, he's going to be five star, five star. Sure, he's got the interlinks, which is very helpful for squad building with Syria. And it's Mkhitaryan. He's played for a lot of different clubs. And he's also kind of a FIFA legend in his own right as well. Do I think this will be a worth it SBC though? Not really, unless he's like 50K and he's like one of the cheapest 93 rated TOTS cards and also usable. With those stats, 88 pace at this stage of the year is kind of behind the power curve. So, it could be nice, but I'm hoping that maybe EA juice the stats up a bit more or just make this absolutely dirt cheap because right there, that card just looks okay. That is one of the SBCs that is leaked right now. The other two is a showdown for the UCL final, right? We had a showdown for the U the Women's Champions League final, for the Europa League final, and we're getting a showdown for the UCL final. It is Joselu versus Bino Gittens. Guys, hopefully they drop this today. I would love it if they gave us a week's worth of time to get invested, to get involved, and to craft one of these SBCs, probably between today and like Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest, but probably Tuesday, I would expect this to come out. Joseph Lou finally getting himself a card. Um, yeah, maybe that's coming out today, guys, honestly, which honestly might be very helpful for a lot of you guys that are still running off the La Liga hype and players from your team. Those Real Madrid links could be very necessary for you. He could be good in game. Bino Gittens last year had a showdown card as well, if I remember correctly, um, and it got upgraded and a lot of people enjoyed that version. So that is two SBCs that are leaked to be coming very soon. I do imagine one of them comes today because on the weekends, you know, we're getting player SBCs every single day at least on friday saturday and sunday it seems every single week now also we got to throw the shout out there for evos even though it's probably not going to be that great i would imagine that we get a Serie A team of the season specific related evo today i don't know is there anything that's in my club that's good from the Serie A? there's some old sbc players that maybe if they're low enough rated could be evolvable like i had to imagine it'd be an 86 rated player that they would allow you to evolve today maybe rafa Leal's gold is evolvable Maybe this way up. I don't even know. Maybe they go 87 rated and you could do like fla uh, the flashback Giroud or the Pulisic player of the month or this Quadrado card. Maybe that will be evolvable today. Who knows? But that is something to watch out for. 
a league specific evo because we've gotten one every single week why would they stop right now and then uh, other than that saturdays have been mostly quiet it's really about the upgrade packs the player species last saturday was pretty crazy uh because we had the cr i think it was the crafting upgrade either, either last saturday or sunday um but that's obviously not going to be coming out this week because the tots crafting is still there for another two weeks long and i do believe that the encore icon and hero are both going to refresh today so maybe last second chance at doing one of these maybe fodder bounces up a little bit with that uh refreshing today as well i wouldn't expect it to be a mad move on fodder maybe just a little bit of one so that's something to watch out for today as well but really today with the syria cards watch them maybe go up a little bit in the morning per usual but then drop later on in the day and you won't want to be a part of owning them later on because their prices will probably tank pretty well but it looks like right now heading into the morning hours they are doing pretty good prices on some of the rare ones are bouncing like this bastoni just did um and i think people are going to wake up today and want to try out some of these cards especially the ones that help them link uh you have to kind of have to buy a couple of these players right and i'm still very happy that you invested or some of us invested in some of these Serie A cards like this cordoba he's up seventy thousand coins because you have to kind of buy a couple players to get links or maybe it's an icon or two to get links in your team you're finding yourself using an icon goalkeeper or like maybe drug but once again to get chemistry on some of these players and of course manager links right that helps a lot as well so that's one thing that bodes well for these and their price fluctuations. But um, yeah, guys, a lot of the cards that I think people are going to wake up and use today would maybe be on the cheaper side. So maybe watch out for some of those lower rated budget flips and maybe some opportunities to grind the market a bit. But most of all, have fun grinding the packs. The, the menu grind is still alive and well with the crafting upgrade that is still there. And, you know, the Renato SBC, the Rodman, and the Lookman are all very, very nice. Hopefully EA... Maybe EA will give us, like, I don't know, a birthday. Is it, what's Maldini's latest version? Do we have a birthday, Maldini? I'm not even sure if we do. Uh, Paolo Maldini, Future Stars. I knew it had that pink in there. Future Stars, Maldini. I mean, we already had a Maldini SBC, but drop us a Maldini EA. And that might be an SBC that some of us would be interested in crafting. But hopefully it's a good Saturday today on this game. Best of luck playing your Foot Champs games. And, of course, best of luck if you're trading on the market, grinding through all the packs. And uh, this might be the last video in the space, boys. Very busy Saturday for me. We'll try to get a video up tomorrow. We might be cutting it close. Have to get internet and stuff figured out at the new place. A lot of you guys have been watching the stream. I've been understanding that this has been not the... This is only a temporary home, not the, like, final place as the missus and I have been in between places. But really busy day tomorrow is we're going to be moving in stuff there. So this might be the last video in the setup in the back room. So no more down under TFA. But I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. We'll see what EA spices up for us today on a Saturday. Best of luck again with all your endeavors in this game. And I'll see you on a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for Count. See you guys there. Peace out.